Hello and welcome to this crochet pinwheel pentagon block video tutorial. In this tutorial I will be using three colors of yarn. The first one is a coral, the second one is a yellow, and the third one is white. And to let you know what brand it is, it is Bernat Baby Sport and it is a light yarn in the size 3. The size hook that we will be using is a size G, a 4.00 millimeter hook. Now this hook that you see here I bought at Hobby Lobby. It is in the United States and it is an all plastic hook. It is part of their luxury hook collection. I really like this hook. It has a great hold area. It's comfortable. It's not heavy. But one thing is is that it is all plastic, but it still holds up very well. Next thing we'll be using is a tapestry needle and a pair of scissors. Today is a perfect day for crochet. In my area, we've been having a lot of thunderstorms. So if you do hear rumbling and thunderstorms in the background, that's what's going on. So, to begin, we're going to start with a magic circle. And I like to make my first chain one tight against that magic circle. Okay, and then we're going to chain one. Can you hear the rain? It's kind of soothing. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to place ten half double crochets into our circle. To make a half double crochet, place your finger on that top loop, yarn over, go into the loop, draw the loop, and then just go through all three. There's one, two, three. Continue until you have ten half double crochets. At the end of ten, we're going to pull Place your finger and four, uh, forefinger and your thumb on top of the last few stitches and pull. You don't have to pull the circle tight, just go ahead and pull it closed. Now to close this, we're going to place a slip stitch, not in the chain one, but in the chain that goes to the right hand side of our half double crochet. Now do not pick up the loop, we're going to change colors. So go ahead and tighten up your strings here and then my second color will be white. So you can leave a little tail and then go ahead and pull it through the three loops. Okay, and let the little tail drop, chain one. Now where we just stopped, we're going to pick up that first loop from that last half double crochet and we're going to go through the two loops on the first half double crochet. And then we're going to take our tail and bring it over the top of our hook and yarn over and come through all of those loops that were the yellow ones and we're going to place, make a single crochet. Okay, and then we can tighten up some of these loops here, but not too tight. Okay, so here's what we have. Now we're going to chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this one right here is our first one. 
I'll get a little closer for you. We don't want to go into that one. We're going to skip the next one. Skip that one. And then the next one after that, we're going to place a single crochet. Snug it up. Okay, so you can see where our first um, stitch got our first single crochet because that's where everything was pulled over. Okay, so we skipped one and in the next one we place a single crochet. Now chain seven again. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this one we're in, we're going to skip the next one and single crochet in the next one after that. Okay, and then snug up that single crochet just a little bit. And then chain seven again. Do this three more times and I'll meet you back here where we're going to slip stitch and I'll show you how to finish that. So this is what we have so far. We have one, two, three, four completed loops and our last chain seven. So let's slip stitch into the single crochet and chain two. One, two. Now take and just make a slip stitch over the chain Okay. This extra chain right here will blend in with the row, so don't worry about that. Okay, so we have like our little star already, but we're going to turn it into a pinwheel. Chain three, one, two, three. Now onto what's left of our chain seven, we're going to place eight double crochets. Now to make a double crochet, place your finger on that top loop, yarn over, insert your hook through your chain space, bring up a loop, yarn over through two, yarn over through two. Let's make seven more. Okay, this is three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, and when you're done, go ahead and spread it out on that chain just a little bit so that it's evenly spaced. And then we're going to just slip stitch around the chain. And we're going to do this again. Chain three, and what's on what's left of the chain seven, eight double crochets. Okay, so and when you get to the last, uh, the eighth double crochet, you're going to slip stitch around the chain. So let's see how many double crochets I got here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, spread it out just a little. And then slip stitch around the chain. Okay, do that for the next three and I'll meet you here and we will change colors for our next row. So this is our look so far. Of course you're wondering what to do with all these. We will weave them in in just a few minutes. Okay, so here we have our little Pentagon star 
so remember this little chain two we did here and then the slip stitch let's go ahead and slip stitch into the slip stitch and then along this chain right here I want you to make your slip stitch loop a little bit longer so we can go into the first one see how it's just kind of stretched it up a little and then take your hook and go into that last chain at the top now do not bring your white through we're going to pick up our coral color here So have a, a short amount and then bring it through all those loops. Now take your white and snug that one up and then we're going to, with our coral, we're going to chain three. But when we do our first stitch, take the tails of the white and the coral into that first stitch. We're going to carry the tails a couple of stitches and that'll help lock that in. So here we got the um, the chain. Now in this double crochet the very first one is going to be a little tricky to get into but you can do it and then take your tails and bring it over the top of your hook. Take your yarn, draw up the loop, snug it up just a little bit and then finish your double crochet. Okay, we can go ahead and let those two yarns drop. So we have one double crochet. We're going to be double crocheting in the next one, two, three, oh, next five stitches. So that's two, three, four and five okay chain five one two three four five now I'm hoping that in this video even though I have a coral color hook you can still see what I'm doing so to me with my light it's not conflicting so I'm hoping that in the camera view it won't be conflicting for you so we want to go up our chain three to the top of the chain three and I want you to place your finger on that top loop and draw a, a yarn over and in that third chain we're going to pick up and make our double crochet. This will be our repeat row. Our first one, the chain three was just to get us up, but this will be the beginning of our repeat row. So we will be making six double crochets across. So there's one. Now we don't want to miss our first one here, so here's two. There's number three. Four. Five. And six. Chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. Then over here on the top of your chain three we're going to place another double crochet and after that you'll add five more so go ahead and complete that around until you get back over here um, after you chain five stop and I'll show you what to do next so does yours look like mine? I bet it does doesn't it? <laughs> So now before we attach this, 
I want you to go ahead and put your hook into the top of that chain three. Now we're going to change colors again. I think the, the various colors that are used is what helps define the pinwheel look. Okay, so we pulled up our loop. Let's chain three again. One, two, and three. Now like we did before, pick up the tail and uh, of the yellow and the coral that you just used. Okay, and we're going to do a double crochet in the next stitch and then put the tails and stuff on top of the hook and then draw up a loop and snug it up just a little bit and then complete your double crochet. Now you can go ahead and drop those two Okay, so we're going to double crochet in the rest of the stitches here, so we have four more on this row. There's one, two, three, and four. Okay. Now in this chain five that we have here, we're going to do four double crochets, chain two, four double crochets. So we're going to do a total of eight double crochets right here in this chain five space. Two, three, and four chain two and then continuing on one two three and four All right so now we're going to keep on going here we have six double crochets so we're going to place one in each space. There's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And you see how I'm holding my hook? It is so comfortable in my hands. <laughs> Alright, so in this chain 5 space, we're going to do the same as what we did right here. Four double crochets, chain 2, four double crochets. So continue all the way around. And this is our last row of this block. So continue around and I'll show you how to finish it off. So to finish this block, what I like to do is instead of going to the top of the chain three, I'm going to go into the first double crochet and I'm going to do a slip stitch. Okay, that'll make it so that it'll close and snug up a little bit better. Okay, so let's cut our yarn. And then just bring it through and we're going to finish it off. So let's get ready to sew in our ends so we'll have a nice finished looking block. So let's go start with the center. And remember our magic circle here. We can go ahead and tighten that up just a little if you want. It's not important. So I'm going to take both colors of the yellow and when I thread my needle I, I bring it up from behind there and take the folded part and go through the needle. Makes it so much easier than possibly splitting the ends of the yarn, which is no fun to have to deal with. Now go through the center of those at the bottom of those stitches. This will help reinforce the the magic circle as well. I used to try 
a double magic circle but I found that sometimes it would get twisted and then all the stitches that I put in I had to take out so okay we went around again and let's go ahead and cut that now for some of these other colors um, you always want to try and stay with the same color that your yarn is so I'm going to come up here and I'm going to go through here see I'm going to go through a few of the stitches right there in the center and then I'm going to go back so go over the first loop right here and then go back and that helps locking it in now since my tail wasn't long like I normally have it I can only do it go back once. I usually go back twice or three times depending on my project. So for the coral you can even go inside here. I'll probably take the two of them and then the white you want to bring the white back down here and go where your double crochets are at. So let's go ahead and finish that up and I'll give you some uh, some additional remarks. So here we have our completed pinwheel pentagon block. I hope you enjoyed this short little tutorial. It's been fun making this. Hope to see you again in another tutorial with Garnet. Till then, bye bye.